Uh, pag may 10 million pesos ka na sobra, anong gagawin mo sa pera mo? Uh, siguro ha, kung doon i-invest ko sa stock market. Hi guys, we're still here in Qatar. We just finished our sessions for today and we're here with Edgar, mechanical engineer. How long have you been here in Qatar? Uh, for almost five years. Five years now. How long have you been in OFW? Since, two, since 2007, so 2007. Uh, more than almost Ele 11 years. 11 years abroad yeah. already. Okay, now, uh, I was asking this kanina, no, before this video, I was asking your greatest money story and then you said that uh, you were in debt millions. Yeah. How did that happen? Uh, accumulation of uh, debt from credit cards in okay. the UAE. So, yeah. Pero anong pinabili mo sa credit cards naman? Uh, alam niya, yung usual na, sa UAE kasi, uh, alam niya yung lifestyle kasi dun eh. Mm. Kahit na wala akong cash uh, actually. Uh, Kapag Dubai Mall ka? <laughs> Dubai Mall, uh, Emirates Mall, lahat okay. ng mall dun. So, yun, yung lifestyle siguro. Kaya yun, nung na, nakita ko nga itong financial literacy, doon natin na-realize na kailangan natin kontrolin yung pera. Otherwise, tayo yung kukontrolin ng money. Pero how, how did you, do you still remember yung pinaka-highest amount nung pinaka-debt na yun? I think collectively, uh, about 1.5 million. million. So, what, what did you do to uh, get out of it? Ano yung mga steps na kinuha mo na? Yun kasi, nung time na yun, talagang wala kami uh, exposure sa financial literacy. So, pagka may pera, so, gastos na lang ang gastos kasi we were born sa spender. Mm -hmm. So, mula nung na, ano kami dun sa financial literacy dun, kailangan mo palang uh, reduce ng expenses mm -hmm. at saka magsimula mo save Pero ano yun, may savings ka, no? Wala kang savings? Actually, walang savings kasi nga talagang so, malaki, malaki sa akin, no? Okay. Puro gastos ng palabas, mm -hmm. kung may makasunga, mm -hmm. so, kaya, so, so galing, gasos dito, gasos dito. galing sa sweldo lang lahat yung ano yung... Ah, uh, yes, yes. So, to pay, to pay for your debt, para nagtipid ka sa sweldo? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, it... Kailangan kong tipid, tapos, uh, yun nga, i-realign mo yung mga uh, mga gasos mo. Mm -hmm. so, yun, doon nagsimula. How yun. long did it take naman to pay for everything? Ah, uh, I think it's almost three years. Oh, wow, wow. Anong feeling nung nakawala ka sa utang? Uh, yun, uh, parang uh, sarap, sarap yung feeling. So, Freedom, sabi nga, freedom. <laughs> uh, so ngayon, when, when, did you, when did you pay off everything? What year was this? I think it was say, uh, 2016. 2016? Okay. So from 2016 to now, you're, are you debt-free na? Wala na talaga? Uh, meron naman mga konting utang na lang, pero hindi na yung credit card. Wala okay. yung credit card. So, uh, Housing loan naman, mga ganun. Mga ganun, naman. So, so assets naman siya? Assets naman. Simula tayo. Assets. What's the assets. what's the biggest lesson na natutunan mo dun na uh, from from being in debt ng 1.5 million? Uh, yun yung don't spend more than you can earn. Mm. So and then you have to start saving saving uh, money for your future. So okay. yun talaga yun. Uh, kasi dati hindi mo talaga may isip yun kasi hindi mo. Uh, we are born spender. Pag may pera ka talaga spend 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 lang. So so pero ngayon since sabi mo you would buy uh, credit card, using your credit card sa mga bakasyon, sa mga uh, pang-enjoy na bagay, ano na bago sa lifestyle mo? To be able to Actually, parang wala, cheat wala parang na ako credit card. Okay. Hindi na ako uh, talaga na ganun yung credit card. So, uh, it's either cash or debit card na lang. Hmm. So, kasi medyo mahirap talaga kontrolin pag uh, Although, pwede natin kontrolin, sabi nga natin, pero pag nandiyan, medyo, ano, so, cut na lang talaga. Wala ng credit card. Uh, that's cash. one. Cut your yeah. credit card. So, if you cannot control your credit card, cut it off. Yes. Yes, and next. Then and then, uh, two, you have to start savings. Okay. Para, and then yun, yun na nga, yun ang pag-aaralan natin. Ha? Kailangan natin mag-start mag-invest for the future, mag-start uh, mag-compute para sa ating uh, Pero how, how did you do it? Parang nagtipid kayo sa kain sa labas, hindi na kayo masyado kumakain. How did you parang uh, twist I'll, your finances? I'll give you an example. Finances. So dati, kung halimbawa, may hindi kami mag-Starbucks, which is, yun naman ginagawa namin dati, Starbucks ko. 
Yes, coffee. Coffee. Yeah, yeah, coffee. coffee. Hindi na, kasi I'm coffee guy. Eh. Ah. Mahilig ako sa kape. So, ang ginawa ko is, for example, there is this uh, coffee press. Mm. Uh, so, instead na magbabayad ako ng Starbucks sa, uh, doon sa Starbucks, bumili na lang ako, bibili na lang ako sa Starbucks. Tas, um, tas beans na lang? Beans, tapos okay. doon mo lang bibili. Oh, malakot ito yung ngayon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Starbucks pa rin yun. So, instead na, magagastos ka ng uh, sabihin natin 20 riyal sa isang coffee. Yung isang ano na yun, 30 riyal lang sa so, mga pagtimpla ka na nandun. Mm, Sabang dami na. Sabang dami na. Totoo, totoo yun. So, very good tip, very good tip. Yeah. Lalo na ngayon sa Pilipinas, uh, coffee is a very prevalent. Yeah. Kaya ako may hindi na ako sa oh, coffee. Yeah, <laughs> so, so, coffee talaga eh. Pero yun sa tingin, hindi guys, hindi naman masama mag-coffee. Pero kung hindi na kaya nakapag-save dahil sa coffee, ayun, I think that's where the problem will lie naman. Oh, so, nag-tipid, nag-skimp up, nag-change ng lifestyle. What else? Uh, yun, uh, <clears throat> start attending seminars ng financial mm. literacy. So, yun, investments, yung stocks, tsaka yung, uh, ayun, yung meron din kasi akong isang mga alin, mga currency. Mm. So, although talaga kailangan ko siya pag-aralan, kasi okay. high-risk talaga siya. Uh, education talaga is big thing. Okay. So, so, what are your investments now? Cryptocurrencies? Cryptocurrency, tapos may stocks. Stocks? Pero, meron din Philippine yung... stocks or? Philippine stocks. Philippine stocks, stocks. okay, okay. Tapos, uh, yun nga, uh, meron din condo na amortization pala. Real estate naman, na, okay. Real estate amortization Okay. Pala. So, dun sa tatlo na yun, ano sa tingin mo yung parang sa'yo promising naman in terms of your uh, investments? I think that would be stocks. Ah, okay. Yeah. Well, okay, why, why stocks? Ako, siyempre, bias ako sa stocks. Pero why, 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 why stocks? Ay, maging bias. Pero nung nakita ko nga yung presentation, lalo na dun sa support and assistance lang, dun ko na-realize na hindi pala siya ganun ka kahirap. Hmm. Kaya lang mo lang talaga siya yung kapag-aralan. And then you have to, uh, yun nga, uh, kung ano lang yung kaya mo, yun, yun yung i-invest natin. Hindi yung kasi, hindi ba yung iba. Siyempre, pag may pera, tapos para masabi lang na naging stocks, you have to go into that. So, unang-una yun nga, pag-aralan mo. Tapos, kung ano yung kaya mong i-invest, doon muna tayo magsimula. And then, afterwards, madali na lang magtagtag eh. Galing, galing. So, galing. Uh, what's your goal now? You want to use, I assume since we did financial planning, your goal is to go home back to the Philippines also? Yeah, so that, uh, so nine years, ang uh, goal ko pata ng Britain. So, med medyo nare-reduce, kailangan nare-reduce na. Para, yun nga, nag-attend tayo ng RFP. Actually, nung simula, for personal, kasi para may apply natin sa sarili natin and then yun nga, habang tayo yung nag-a-attend, na-realize natin, kailangan talaga natin siya i-share sa mga Pilipino. Mm. Para, sabi nga, bakit hindi mga Pilipino nag-i-invest uh, uh, sa stock market mm. na pupunta lang tuloy sa mga foreign, foreigner. So, yun, yun siguro. Okay, so, do you have a target amount na pag nakuha ko ito, magre-retire na ako, huwi na ako sa Pilipinas? Doon sa calculation Either, natin, oh, medyo... Oh, oh. <laughs> Uh, malaki-laki pero yun nga meron talaga siya target amount so meron yung sa target amount meron pero <laughs> do I have to disclose di naman, di naman, di naman pero, uh, <laughs> pero ginamit natin yung uh, <laughs> pinag-aralan natin okay. sa, ano yung sasabihin ko ano yung sa'yo ang retirement ano yung definition pag uwi sa Pilipinas anong gagawin pag nag-retire na? ako kasi uh, na-expose kasi sa abo ginawawag na lalayo sa family so mas maganda talaga pag sinabi mong retirement talaga is financial and time freedom so hmm. ibig sabihin Although may business ka, hindi mo, pwede kang gumising ng 10 o'clock. Hmm. Diba kung gusto nito, hindi mo na kailangan na gigising ng maga para parang yung nangangamuhan. Na. Parang yung nagtatrabaho tayo as employee. So, we have control of our time. So, Siyempre, yung finances natin. Siguro hanggang sa pagtanda natin, hindi na tayo mga problema. Okay, galing. Amazing. So, thank you so much for this. I hope you get inspired by the story. Nung ganda nito, babalikan kita the next time I come back here na isang tao na in debt, na wala sa utang, nag-budget, nag-save, and the next step na is how big we see those investments happen. Kasi inspiring yan, it's time that we see more Filipinos like him that are out of debt, saving and investing, and then they become financially free as well. Kasi madami kang ma-inspire pag, uh, pag nakuwi ka sa Pilipinas, tapos punong-punong yung investments mo. Uh, it's a good story to tell as well. So, Thank that's you, it sir. for now. Hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. Bye, everyone. Bye. Salamat, sir. Oh, naman. Salamat, salamat. Paano? Save lang ako. Save, save, save and invest. Kasi okay. turo ni Coach Marvin eh. Save and invest. Oh, to, 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 to. What, what you, how old were you when you got your first million? Huwag <laughs> <laughs> na, Coach!
Malalaman yung edad ko. <laughs> This is talagang, ito yung driving force ng kayamanan. <laughs> oh driving force. Bili nyo guys, pupunta pa siya sa malapit sa Saudi para punta nyo mga ari-arian niya. Oh. <laughs> Tinitignan ko yung mga camels ko doon. <laughs> Talaga? Oo. Oh. Ay, masarap ano. Gan Gano'ng kalaki na yung... Get out? Wow. Sila siguro? Sila siya. Baka 